Oh, wait a minute. I think that fixed it. Yeah, it does look like OBS is picking up on it now. Okay, well, good. Now I can actually do something. <laughs> I can go sit down. Cool. Well, that's what happens when you're away for a few months. You don't use your streaming software. Ugh. Okay. Ah, someone followed me already. Thank you, Havix. Let me just go ahead and put that down. So can you hear me? Hopefully you can now. I'm just going to play a little bit and hopefully everything's working. So I just decided to throw the thing open here. The uh, stream. Just because I'm going to have to do some leveling. And why not make it more entertaining than making it pointlessly tedious <laughs> by talking to people? That'd be nice. Oh, I am definitely out of practice. Okay, good. You can hear me. That's perfect. So. Um... I need to remember what I was doing first before I kind of shut my brain off. Uh, Alright, these three bosses here, they completely wiped the floor with me. Yeah, I got the uh, dark mode enabled on the chat. You know what? Let me, let me turn that off. For whatever reason, it makes it harder to read dark blue now. Alright, perfect. Actually, you know what? Let me. That's nice. Man, I have not used my voice in two months, and it's clearly showing. Were you shooting things or were you slicing things? Um. Well. I don't remember, but you know what? Why don't we. There, there is one thing you don't get to see. It's uh, the bottom, well, the, the tablet, I almost said bottom screen. The tablet has like a, a navigational map that allows me to poke around the world and teleport. So you might be able to hear me poking at it here. Um, so I'm gonna warp to this area. It'd be kind of cool if you guys could see it, but you're not gonna be able to. Oh, hey, MD, what's up? This isn't really an official Quote unquote stream, it's just kind of me futzing around. Ooh, phone go buzz buzz. Oh, uh, Havix, that's right, you and I talked a couple days ago. I was like, your name seemed familiar. Well, it's it's good to see you here. Um, well, thank you for doing that on your Facebook page, I appreciate that. I am gonna try to work my way back into doing this again full time well not full time but you know what I mean just getting back into the swing of things um, just because I've been away for a while just needed to take care of some other things and yeah hopefully people will return now that they see that I'm back okay where am I going I'm going this way I'm gonna leave my giant robot there because <laughs> I can't bring it in with me anyways to fight without my robot. Actually, how far am I from this boss fight? Eh, yeah, I can run there. That's fine. So, I'm wondering if the reason why these guys kicked my ass so hard is because of my armor. Now, what you see me wearing right now is not actually my armor. It's my fashion gear. You can put uh, fashion stuff on top of your normal armor. Um, but I'm wearing heavy armor, the same as these other two characters are. And it does have a pretty big hit to gravity damage resistance. So I wonder if that was the reason why. So we're going to pay attention to what types of attacks they're using. Hopefully without attracting any enemies. Oh, thank you, Havix. I really appreciate that. I'll, uh, I'll reach out to you here. Once I do kind of get back into the swing of things. Okay, so here's the boss. Yeah, I'm just trying to pay attention to the skills they use. But I think it's just because he's got overwhelmed. Like, you can see they're already dying. 
I don't know, characters. He's gonna take a whole lot of damage. Okay, he's using beam damage right there, which please. Um, what else you got? Oh, that looks like gravity damage right there. Yep. Okay. So, I if I can keep my eyes on you here. I'm expecting to lose this, so. If it looks like a little blue radioactive icon, then it's gravity damage. Yeah, he likes using that cleave. I don't know. I might have to buy some new armor, but I'm only level 31. Which shouldn't matter because I've killed some of the other bosses without too much trouble. Lower the difficulty? How dare you? Don't insult me. <laughs> I mean, it would help, but no. Nah. We're not gonna do that. We're not gonna go to Puss Out. No. Well, MD, I'm glad to hear your studying's going well. Um. I've mostly just kind of been working. What I've been doing since I haven't been here, I played through the entirety of the first Xenoblade Chronicles game, and that took about a hundred hours on my one file. And now I'm doing this game, which I now have 38 hours. So I've been very just Xenoblade heavy, because I would really like to get done with this so that I can get to Xenoblade Chronicles 2 on the Switch. Um, so we can't be here anymore, obviously, because those guys are going to kick our butts. Let's go back to town. Uh, go. There. Yep. It's that gravity damage. Hmm. I'll have to see... I guess I could use light armor... Which doesn't have as big of a hit to gravity. But I wonder if that would make me too squishy. I'm gonna have to play around. But, rather than just doing that right away, I could do other stuff. Oh, this music, by the way. This music is top-notch. <laughs> this game has some of the most interesting music I've ever heard. Because it's not music that was designed... Well, okay. Let me, let me phrase this better. Um, they got a movie soundtrack guy to make video game music for this game and it just it's just so out of place but i unironically love it now like it just this song used to annoy the piss out of me but it's just i don't know it's like a bug in my ear i can't get it out also this is my giant robot <laughs> you just stomp around town hello everybody beautiful day scrape 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 um, so with that... Oh yeah, I was gonna check the armor, wasn't I? Excuse me. Excuse Oh, oh. Great. Heavy mech isn't so good at turning. I forgot about that. Whee! Yeah, I just, uh, deposit myself. Okay. Oh, this is the... Oops. This is not the thing I want, but let's see if I have any juice. I do not have any juice. Alright. Uh, Alright, armor store. Isn't there a battle rap? Yes, there is. <laughs> there is. We'll go we'll go cure it here in a minute. Let me just uh see what I'm dealing with here. So I'm using heavy armor. Now let's see level 18 armor. I don't really think What's the Granada Galactic Group? Here. Okay, so interestingly enough, the skill armor has resistances to gravity. Huh. How much defense is this? Six? Hold on. Let me. Had to poke around in here. Let me see. Uh, attribute gravity. There we go. Make this a little easier to look at. Oh, right, I want to look at the other armor. Uh, heavy wear. Nope. I want scale. Scale, please. There we are. 15 versus 15. That's a, that's a substantial difference. Also, look at that. Oh, Jesus. 
<laughs> Madame, you're very um, exposed today. Oh my goodness gracious, look at those just hanging right out. Um, so the alternative is to use medium or light. Uh, so you can see, if you look at the stats there, the little blue radioactive thing that has a minus 20 on it, that's the gravity damage resistance. So the heavy armor takes a huge hit on that, so light really isn't that much better. Mm. Am I... I wonder if I could get by by using the scale armor. You know what? Just for shits and giggles. I might as well try. Who's it at? Skell? <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay. Um, and it also has beam resistance. That actually will help. So let's just go ahead and... Uh... That's expensive. You know what I still need to do? I need to place these nodes on my map. Now, there's another mechanic that you guys won't be able to see because it's on my touchscreen. Um, but when you place these little nodes around the world map, you can place these probes uh, that allow you to do mining, research, that will accumulate you either currency or materials. So I need to check to see how many research probes I have. And if you set them up on the map correctly, they'll chain each other, and they'll give you a much higher payout. But I can, I can afford all of these. Why don't I just go ahead? Yeah, sure. There we are. Um... Oh yeah, some of this armor. Oh, I like the diving mask. <laughs> Wait a minute. Um... I mean, j <laughs> some of this is clearly, uh... You know, yeah, for for quote unquote fashion purposes. Let me see here. Uh, that's blade wear. Actually, that wouldn't be bad, but it's level thirty five. I can't put that. I'm a bit quiet. Uh, let's see what I can do about that. Yes, that's minus one hundred gravity resistance. Let's see here. Yeah, I haven't used any of my tech in a little bit, so bear with me. Uh, this game can be a bit noisy. Properties. Should be better. I'm also not used to using my voice, so I'm gonna be a little quiet. Okay, that should be better, hopefully. Uh, anyways, what was I doing? Head. Yes, head. Uh, scale wear. There it is. <laughs> nice hat. Yeah, sure. Might as well try. Uh, scale wear. You know, I do wonder what the purpose of this is. Like, if I use my giant robot, do my resistances get added to the robots? That is a little confusing. Because you would think scale wear, like, the scale is the giant robot, I should point that out. Um, and it has its own stats and whatnot, so you would think the skell wear is for piloting the skell. So I don't know. I guess we'll just have to try it and find out. Alright, pop that thing on. Uh, skell? Heaven forbid, I'm not sure if I want to know what the bottoms of these are going to look like. Also, this is a skirt. That is more or less a skirt. What? Oh, what is this armor? Candid Incredible. Okay. 
Interesting. Alright. Uh, there. Oh yeah, my fashion armor is going to override it anyway, so it's not like it matters. How's the volume now? Not that I want to rob you of this magnificent music or anything. <laughs> Here, why don't I just go ahead and get rid of this? Who is texting me? Who's texting me? 10:30. Uh? This thing. <laughs> what an, an what an abysmal piece of armor. I don't know how I feel about the um, the daft punk helmet. Let's see, fashion gear. Let's put the glasses back on. Or you know what? No, I need something a little better. Yeah, there you go. Or the heart glasses. There, now I look like a scale pilot. Sweet. Okay. God, this armor's ridiculous. Alright, Mr. Robot, where are you at? Come to me. So where are the other four Zords? I actually do have another one. Uh, it's currently not registered to anybody. And I do want to buy another one so that I have three. The only problem with the other one I have right now is it's a level 20 suit of armor. And this one's a level 30. Let's get the hell out of here. I'm already tired of hearing the song. I'm not really. So yeah, this little... <laughs> this little... This robot really helps you putter along. Because these maps are huge. And they can take a little bit of time to get across, but you can teleport to a lot of these squares, so that is helpful. Oh, let's not anger that. Can we not? I would prefer not to anger that. That's a level 92. Yeah, I'm good. That's also a tyrant. Um, so tyrants are more or less boss monsters that exist out on the world. And they can be a bit of a handful if you accidentally pick one up. I should also mention that my robot here can get destroyed and it can only get replaced by insurance a certain number of times before it's like I have to pay out of pocket for it. And that gets very expensive, so I don't want to do that. If I notice that I'm going to like die really fast, I'll just exit the robot <laughs> and just let my character eat shit and the robot doesn't take any damage. So it's perfect. Okay. Let's, let's think of something to do here. So, I was asking myself if I had research probes. Let me check that real quick. That's all on the touchscreen. Data probe info. Ugh, I have a, what is it with my pathetic amount of research no, er, probes compared to my mining probes? I have so many mining probes. And they take away from the revenue, which is... Ugh, that doesn't help. So, let me think. We're gonna get more research probes. If I had to guess, um, it's probably in one of these quadrants that have items I can pick up. So, on my little navigational screen, each, well, there's like a bunch of chunks on this map that are broken up into hexagons. I'm trying to describe it the best I can. And in each hexagon, it has its own uh, segment objectives, so some of them are to kill a tyrant, um, others are to complete a mission in them, some of them are to find items, and as you do the things for the segments, you get map completion, and then you also get 
robes in some cases. So right now, I need research probes, which would really help. Also, where are the tiny monsters? Let me show you something funny, if I can find one. They're around here somewhere. They're around here somewhere. So this right here, this is a probe point. So I have to go around and activate these before I can plant a probe. Um, ooh, that dinosaur is very close. Oh, come on, where's the little monsters at? I need to comedically run over one. No oh, birds. What about the beach. Yeah. What's also kind of funny about this game is sometimes monsters take a second to load in. Oh, I could probably run over these. Oh, come on. All right, fine. Here's what I'll do. <laughs> <laughs> there. Fuck you, crab. Hmm. Man, I did kind of feel like this was going to be a bit of an aimless endeavor. But let's pick a spot. Let's go here. There are items here. So how are your companions keeping up? You know, it's, it's kind of funny. Um, the game just keeps continuously spawning them behind my, my vehicle, so... Like if I start running, I zoom the camera out. Do you see how <laughs> it's like depositing clones of my companions out onto the field? This is how we're gonna conquer the alien planet. We're just gonna keep shitting out replicas of my teammates. <laughs> it looks so ridiculous. Ooh! Whoa! Okay, let's not fall. Oh, that thing is actually going to hurt a lot. Oh crap! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Please do not shoot me. Okay. That was almost terrible. Um, the items are this way. Ignore that flashing yellow arrow on the minimap. That's pointing me towards the boss I got killed by. Okay. Now, let's look for the items. They're going to be yellow squares on the minimap. So I have to stay inside this sector. You can't see the sector, but I can. Um, oh, you know where it is? I know where it is. It's through here. I've seen it before. I might not be able to pick it up, but I can try. Oh, <laughs> there you go. You run over the enemies. All right, can I pick this up? Oh, I can't because I'm in combat, technically. Let's squad Ben. What? I'm right here. <laughs> Someone else named Ben. I really do like this class that I picked for this character. It does remind me a lot of uh, Shulk's gameplay style in the first Xenoblade game. Come here. You're level 8, why are you still alive? Let's move. Like a level 25 or something weapon I'm hitting it with. Resilient bug. Okay. So, oh good. I have a high enough archaeological skill to get this. Now let's just mash the A button a bunch of times and there it is. Clunk. But there must be more. Also, that wasn't in... Hold on. Yeah, that was in a different sector. Just on the very, very tippy edge, though. So, that's not what I was looking for. I'm gonna piss off some more cockroaches. <laughs> Squeeze. Kill time! Aw, damn it. My teammate got it first. Okay. Where are the other items? Are they down here? Oh, yep. There's one right there. Yep. That's probably going to take engineering. 
which I have a full level on that. Or mechanical, rather. Yep. Perfect. And segment recon complete. That means I did it. Uh, now, give me another mining pro for God's sake. <laughs> I don't need more of those. <laughs> uh, I need research probes, please. I don't know where to get more of those things. There must be something I can do. Oh, I don't really need to worry about this thing going in the water anyways, because, um... Wait a minute. Let me get out far enough. Come on. Eh, it just hovers on the water anyways. <laughs> Looks like a really roided up Metal Sonic. Okay, so there's another segment with items down this way. Whee! Get me up there. Okay. Uh, where is it? Is it like I can see the squares on the mini map? Is it up here? I can just jank my way up here. Oh, do 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 do. No, no, come on. Um, oh, no, no. Come on, robot. Come on. Come on. Up to Daisy, please. You can do it. You're a big boy. Come on. Up. Oh, there we go. You did it. I'm proud of you. Okay. Up the hill. I guess I could have just teleported over here. There was really no point for me to do this. I don't know. It's more fun jumping up the mountains anyways. And good, I can pick this up. Give me research probe, please? No. No research probe. Actually, there's a bunch of items down here. Um, or so I thought. I saw a square just as I was falling down here. And I think there's a flight module you can get for these skulls later on, which actually would help a lot with getting some of these items, because, I mean, just look at me. I look like a damn fool. Hippity hoppity all over the place. Do I look like a cat to you? Hopping around all nimbly bimbly? Uh, actually, here's one. Somewhere. <laughs> Why teleport when you can travel in style? That's exactly right. It looks like I have knives being burst from my elbows. It doesn't look comfortable. Okay. Well, I guess if I want to get access to the other ones... Teleport here? Where's this one? No, that's not going to help, is it? How did I get up there in the first place? Oh, I was over here. That's right. <laughs> Ooh, it's night time. Wait, where's Robot? Oh, there's Robot. Gets teleported with me, which is nice. It's funny because I haven't really even had this robot for this long, um, or for that long, rather, in my game save. Because you get it, I want to say, after Chapter 6. I'm currently on Chapter 9, but I pretty much blew through Chapters 7 and 8. They were kind of easy. Um, so I really haven't had this robot for very long. Okay, so... Let's try this again. I'm gonna go hopping around again. You bet. You bet. Uh, come on. Come on. Come on. There. Go back up here. Now, where was that thing I saw earlier? 
Because there's one right here. It's like below me? Hmm. Oh, you know what? There's a cave down there. I forgot about that cave. It might be where it is. I mean, that's even assuming I can pick it up. Here, let's just cheese my way up here. <laughs> that's fine. How long is not long in a hundred plus hour game? And it's all relative at that point. These little shitty bugs attacking me. I can't even see them. Yeah, I'm attempting to attack. I guess I can't. This is stunning. Here. Must have been because I stepped on them. I don't think it's in their best evolutionary instincts to, you know, just suddenly attack a giant thing. Ooh, look at that thing flying around. And you know, I don't know if this this game is 100 plus hours, mostly just because I feel like I've been getting through it a lot faster than I've been getting, that I went through the first game. And I should also mention that this has no, <clears throat> as far as I can tell, so far, this has no relation to the first Xenoblade Chronicles game. It's pretty much its own thing. Which is fine. Completely different universe and all that, but I mean, it, it has a lot of the similar battle elements. Oh, there we go. That's a... Is that a white whale piece? Maybe. Hmm. But yeah, this plays completely differently. Uh, okay, so the sector with the thingies is over this way. Ooh. Okay, whoa there, cowboy. <laughs> Half the fun of this game is just, just jumping on top of crap. Just seeing where you can finagle your character. I guess, though, once you get the flight module, it really doesn't matter, but I do look forward to using it. Mm. Okay, so the thingy is down here. Come on, robot. Which is probably in the cave. So I also have to jump down. And I can't take Mr. Robot with me. Te ayudo? I don't know what that means. <laughs> I don't think I could tell you what that means. <laughs> this cave music cracks me up. Oh, these are level 33, huh? Huh. <sighs> Might be risky, but I could probably avoid fighting most of them. I am a little nervous in my skull gear. Because I'm a bit squishy. Although, what, what am I doing? I could just change it right now. Uh, strongest gear. Ah. Yeah, look at those shades. Look like a real asshole. Okay, now the other problem is getting up there. Um, and I tend to shoot myself in the foot a lot with this game, where the easiest way to get to some place is just the place I'm not looking. So... That bridge probably leads to some hole over there, but I'm just gonna be a real fancy dick about it. There we go. That's a level 36? Oh god. Please don't look at me. Ooh! Okay, you see that eyeball? And that lightning bolt? The eyeball means he'll aggro me if he sees me. Like that! <laughs> or, and the lightning bolt means he'll react to sound. So, more or less... It's impossible to get by him, but I'll try to kill it. <laughs> How do you shoot yourself in the foot with a sword? Well, don't worry, that's why I've got these little shoulder guns. Oh, well, the, he just jumped down there on his own. Alright. Okay. Get those damage bonuses going. Yep, yep, yep. And 
and goodbye. Cool. So if I use those melee abilities in a combo, one after the other, their damage gets increased. And then if I let the cooldown refresh long enough... Like, imagine if a game allowed your skills to build up a second level of being cooled down. They'll do additional things. And that's essentially what these do. Um, so it's just tons of damage all at once. Okay, there's the thing. Sweet. And that is not it. Okay. Hmm. Sneak. big guy. Though he's not hostile, weirdly enough. What are you? A Jade Skirpo? Skirpo? Skirpo. Yeah, they're not hostile, for whatever reason. I'll just, I'll just go on by. It, this, this game is kind of weird. Uh, this first Xenoblade was kind of weird, too, where there would be enemies of a much higher level in the area that you're in, and you would just have to sneak around them. So, like, if you've ever played an MMO, and you've wanted to get to a certain area, but, like, the monsters... Oh! Okay, he's aggro now. The hell? Huh. Um. But it's the same concept in an MMO, which this game kind of does play like one, in a weird way. But not really. Uh, I need to go down here. Ooh. Oh, okay. Oh, that's gonna be a problem. I could try fighting both of those, but I get the feeling it ain't gonna be ain't gonna be good. So leave of faith. <laughs> I almost got away with it. I almost got away with it. This is one of those games where they uh Announce the name of every skill. Shooting skull. This character's voice really got on my nerves at first, but it kind of grew on me after a while. After I tried out the other voices, because there's a there's a way you can change your character's appearance later on, and I've unlocked it. And so I was like, all right, let's try these other voices, and they were like they were all terrible. <laughs> so I was just like, you know what? This one's growing on me. She's an arrogant little shit, but it'll do. See that? Go me. Yeah. Go me! Right. It'll do. It'll do. Oh, that one's dead. And... Weren't there two? Did I just kill both already? Huh. Hey, Boogie. What are you doing? Can I pick this up? Yes. Why are the things from Half-Life there? Oh, face huggers. This is the face hugger cave. You know what I'm gonna do? I just realized why you guys can't hear me very well. Let me make a slight seating adjustment here. No wonder. Usually I'm reclined when I stream on this couch. It's just been so long. Uh, okay. Good. Hold on one second. All right. Let's go back. It's morning, so the bugs aren't aggroed anymore. Wait a minute, so all I had to do was walk in here in the morning and they would have been fine? Also, there's a rainbow outside, apparently. That's what the little weather icon says. So then what, are the big bugs aggro-y now? No? It's just that one right there. Why is he such an asshole compared to the others? What's your problem? Wood Skirpo. It's because he's out of his element. He's, he's happier in the woods. He's frustrated. He's in the cave. He's now where he belongs. It's not your beautiful house. Uh, oh, there we go. Here's one. 
See that rectangle over there? I just like jumped into the wall without even paying attention to what I'm doing. Here, we gotta go this way. Hey, look, it's a thing. Oh! That's bad. That's very bad. That's a level 40. I should run from that. Ow. Oh god. Please. I should have known better. It's clearly an ambush. Oh, well. Crap. Please don't follow me in here. That would suck. Oh, hi, Lynn. Uh, okay. <laughs> it killed me. It followed me over here and it killed me. Great. You looked up the completionist time for this game? Oh god. Do I even want to know? That's a level 33. I wonder. Let's do something really stupid. Let's try to take down this tyrant. This gigantic mosquito wasp thing. Alright, I need you down here on my level. Attack at range. Follow my lead. Can I even hit it? It's way too high up. I have my shoulder guns equipped. I might need a big robot for this one. I could at least get its attention with the robot. Whoosh. Mr. Mosquito, come on down. What the hell, dude? Here. Um. Time to get Poof. We should weaken them just to be safe. Yeah. Oh, he's not taking a whole lot of damage at all. It's actually not doing a whole lot of damage to me, which is perfect. Yeah, unfortunately, I couldn't tell my character to just shoot straight up. She's not that smart. Punch it. Punch it right in the face. <laughs> I punched it so hard it exploded in the light. That's what we'll go with. What's going on here? Okay. That was weird. Stun me. Oof. Okay, well the skill seems to be handling this quite well. Where's this ankle I'm sitting at? Find it like this. <laughs> yeah, just take it easy. Yeah, just lay back. There you go, let's bind it. Take a nap. Find the mosquito. Let my team handle it. I'm surprised I haven't hit cockpit uh, view. No. Well, that's another thing that annoys the piss out of me with that voice. Hope I didn't get in the way. Well, I guess we killed it. <laughs> Sorry for that. So while you're looking stuff up, gamer, um, I'm curious if you will spot anything about getting more research probes, because I would like more. Phone's going off again. Okay. Sorry, let me 
second. What is the, you know, I don't use emojis much, but now I'm in the position where I, I'm having to start using them more. What's the hug emoji? No, there's a, there's a girl crossing her arms. That's not the right one. That looks like a prayer. That's not the one I want. Is the one with the arms above the head it? No, that can't be it. Uh, yeah. Girls are so much better at this stuff than me. I just, I don't use emojis. Okay, you know what? Let's do... Let's do winky... Winky face with, like, a kissy heart thing. Yeah, that, that'll that work. Yep. That'll do just fine. <laughs> I sent that bitch a smile. Bitches love smiley faces. I haven't watched Boondocks in so long. Now go back and get that big dinosaur. I believe in you. <laughs> you know, I would do it if I wasn't in my skull. If I could find him, um, I could kill this thing. Here. This is a bronze cinecula. Sure. Why not? Punch. Actually not doing a whole lot of damage to it at all. Oh, that's actually kind of terrifying. Yeah, it'll be fine. Just don't do any gravity damage. Hit it, team. Hit it. Hit him with your piddly swords. I get prompted the bind so often, I just don't want to do it. It's boring, I want to punch it. Hit it with my big scythe. So, according to Gamer, treasure nodes, or treasure probes, are obtained as mission rewards and from item spots. So I was on the right track. Um, I just wasn't having any luck. Oh, here's cockpit view. There we go. So when this happens, all of my skills refresh their cooldowns, uh, and I become invincible while the camera's inside the cockpit. So there's a chance for cockpit view to activate any time I use a skill, and this, the percentage is higher if I'm in overdrive mode, which you will see here in just a moment. He's smacking the piss out of his bug. The big bug. Okay, let's see. Yeah, let's go for it. I missed the thing. But hey, I got the refresh. Oh, stop putting those things on me so quickly. <laughs> They're like ambushing me with the QTV. I don't know what extends the overdrive, truth be told. I just, I just mash skills until it dies. And I just lay under your face. You don't mind, right? Oh, look, it got extended again. And look, the skills refreshed again. Oh my, that's a pretty face you got there, mister. <laughs> Hi! Oh my. Looking, looking right down the throat of the thing. And they did it again! Well, that helped take care of it. Jeez. Thing went down like nothing. Uh, someone said that these number into the hundreds, so good luck. Oh, you mean the research probes or the item pickups? Uh, you probably meant the item pickups, which I'm, uh, I'm dreading. Yeah, with the flight module, it would be a lot easier. Uh, oh, there's the big dinosaur. Sweet. All right, let me just uh, leave that there for safekeeping. <laughs> All 
Alright. Let's do it. I'm ready. That's... No, that's not what I want to do with target. Hey, big boy. Oh my god. Oh my god. This thing is massive. <laughs> I'm not even big enough to attack its toenail. He's gonna do himself a glug glug. He's thirsty. Boom, boom, boom. Hi, buddy. How you doing? He's like a brontosaurus. Why would he be aggro? Is he aggro? I don't know if he is. I can't see him anymore. Or I can't see his uh, his level thing. Yep, he is an aggroable monster. See the eyeball? Luce Luciel the Eternal? <laughs> Fuck off with that name. Jeez. God dinosaur. When did this turn into Shadow of the Colossus? Oh man, I miss that game. I really do need to go back and play it. It did, it did get a uh, HD re-release, didn't it? Was that PS3 or PS4? Oh, what just happened there? Whoa. Can we do that again? That was fun. <laughs> I didn't know I could do that. That's a neat trick. Uh oh. Oh. Oh boy. He's turning. Where's he going? Hey, notice me. Hey. You. With the big, ugly, long neck. Come here. Come here. Come here. Step on me. Aw. Oh. I would I would I would have tried to get underneath the foot when he lands. Come on. Don't turn. No! I'm not done with you. Come here. I feel like scrappy doo right now. Let me at him! You know, I'm, I don't know why they didn't make Scrappy Doo into like a like a Jack Russell Terrier. That would have made a lot of sense. Because if you've ever seen a Jack Russell, they have no Understand? Is he, did he just move to go drink from another pool of water? What? Oh, I'm sorry. Was that lake too boring for you? Here, I'm swimming your toe. But if you've ever seen a Jack Russell, but those things have no understanding or concept of size differences. Maybe you know what? I'm just gonna smack him in the foot. I'm sure this won't be horribly wrong, right? Ready? Boop. Let's move it. Yeah. Dino Mortar? Oh god, that doesn't sound good. <laughs> We're just all dead. I didn't even see what happened. We just died instantly. <laughs> well then, you got your wish. <gasps> it's a honk bird! Oh, it's the dupe bird. Oh, you're gonna love the dupe bird. These things are so stupid. Like, they're so random, but it's just like every every other piece of wildlife on this planet is just like so, you know, it's believable. Like, you know, we got critter here, we got dinosaur, we got wolves and things like that. But then we have fucking dupe bird. <laughs> honk. <laughs> it has a horn on its head and it goes honk. Here we go. I just, it's such a stupid enemy, but I love it. I, I ironically love this thing. <laughs> Give me the good honk. Honk. <laughs> like a truck. Oh, this thing. I love this thing. Battle's not gonna last long enough for you to hear the rap. Ooh, I, I broke his like his ball out of him. Why does he have a ball in him? Ew. Just a weird enemy. All around. <laughs> it's even better when you get groups of them fighting together because they just all honk in just a beautiful chorus of air horns. Look at you with your dumb horn on your head. What are you? Like, you're not a robot. <laughs> clap, clap! <laughs> Dude, what is this thing? <laughs> I can't 
can't get over this thing. <laughs> He's just so pleased with himself. <laughs> Stupid fucking thing. Oh, goodness. <laughs> oh, I knocked his ball out. I'm sorry. Oh, he's mad now. You can tell by the <laughs> you can tell by the way he hugs his horn. Oh, ow! It's just like <laughs> sad trumpet or trombone. Um, I don't. I really don't know what's up with those things. Hi, Boogie. You started yelling and I got distracted. Hi. I don't know if they can hear you. They haven't heard you in a while too. That's right. I should tell them about uh, how you tried to eat my birthday dinner off the damn counter. You little miserable cat. So, last year, uh, when my birthday came around, I did a stream of Rayman 2. And just because I've been away for a little bit, I was just like, ah, I'm just going to have to miss it this year. Um, I was going to do Rayman Legends. That is what I had planned. Hi, Boogie. You're up here now? Okay, could you make a little room? Okay, I know, yes. You can come over here, just like, just like right here. Come over here. Come on. Come on. Sit down. Okay, that works too. You can sit there. You know your tail's in the way. Can you put that down? Please. Oh, oh, hello, suddenly, enemies. Um. Blow them up. Didn't do what I thought it was going to do. Uh, get out of the robot. I have a big AoE. I want to aggro all of these. Oh, they're a lot bigger than I thought. Oh. And perspective. Damage in the cage is so huge. Ain't an illusion wonderful, it really is. Um, you know what? I just realized I'm not really doing anything of significance. I'm just I'm just fucking around. Um <laughs> fucking honkbird. Uh okay, so let's try down here for the item. So in order to pick up these items like I've been doing, you've seen how I had archaeological and mechanical and stuff like that. So as you do things in the game, uh, depending on the division you picked, you'll get points and you level up your blade rank. So do you see down there on the bottom it says blade level 6? Um, I picked the Pathfinder division, which gives you a lot of points anytime you discover a new area or you plant down a probe for the first time. Um, so it has been a fairly, uh, easy way to level this blade thing. I, you know, picking the division that's all about killing the minor enemies, that probably would have been a smarter thing to do. Uh, this is fine. Um, but every time you level up the blade thing, you get to choose one of those skills. So, mechanical, archaeological, or biology. And, um, you need to have a certain level of one of those three to pick up the item, depending on what it is. Uh, so there's a chance that once I find whatever this is, I won't even be able to pick it up. So, that's that. Oh, where is this thing? Ah, there it is. Awk. Oh. Left squad, oh. See that? I can't do this one. <sighs> Son of a bitch. Now, the longer I stay out here, funds will get deposited into my thing. How much money's coming in per cycle? About 22,000 per cycle. Um, also, my Meranium is full. I need to go drop that off. Uh, but first, hold on. Before I forget, I keep forgetting to do this. <clears throat> I need to put down my storage probes. In fact, I wonder if those things can be chained. 
probably can be. Uh, let's find out. Let's find out. Storage probe. Oh, it's on a different map. Oh god, this is gonna be a pain in the ass tracking these down. Uh, change probe, basic probe. Okay, no, no, actually do it, please. Basic probe. Confirm change. There it is. Okay, change probe. Basic. Confirm. Um, where's the other one? I have four. There should be a third one. Here it is. Change probe, basic probe. Confirm. Alright. Let's go back to this map. I, it's like you can't see anything I'm doing. I'm just gonna narrow it through. Never yeah, wait. I'm gonna narrow it through it. Um. Put the storage probes in the ground. Wonderful. Also, what's going on with the mining tool going down so much? Oh, okay. Sweet. So you can change storage probes. Uh, question is. Just how much extra does it give you? Uh, if multiple storage probes are placed, their effects will be added together. Well, that's no better than what I already have. What the fuck? Okay, there's another one. Eh? Okay. I don't really get it. Do I need to minimize this? Oh, there we go. Okay, that's a much higher storage value. So do you see the Meranium value? It was 18,000 and it went up to 21,000. Um, oh, thank you for sneezing on my knee, cat. Appreciate that. He didn't even sneeze. He just blew his nose. He just went, <clears throat> just right on my knee. Thanks. Thanks for that. Yeah, thank you. You're doing the Lord's work. Uh, you can't just mash A. No, you can't. I mean, theoretically, you could if you just press, like, right and left on the D-pad and just hit A a bunch of times. I mean, I guess you could get through it, but there are some things that <laughs> require just a little bit of strategy. The battles in the first Xenoblade Chronicles, some of those got so fucking intense. Like, I wish I would have streamed some parts of that game because, holy god... I was, like, biting my nails through some of those fights just because you're barely hanging on. Because there's no items to, like, heal yourself or anything. You just gotta kill the enemy before it kills you, more or less. And, um, by activating those little quick time events, you heal your party. Same thing in this game, too. Um, you'll heal a little bit of health. And, um, there are skills that allow you to heal, but they're very uncommon. Only just a few characters have them. I need to drop this stuff off. As for Blaith. <laughs> ask for Blaith. <laughs> That's not what she's saying. I think she's saying ask for Blade, but the first time I heard that, she was like saying Asperglave. <laughs> I was like, what? Pardon? Uh, this game is fun. Uh, oh, it'll be level four. Go for it. So that, uh, Meranium that I've been mining off the planet, I can distribute this to research and development, uh, projects. And that will give me new gear to wear. But level 4 and level 5 just gives you more, um, effects. So, like, this one says, all products upgraded. So every item has, let's say, I'll show you. This game has a shit ton of mechanics. It's just like, I'm, I'm gonna get overwhelmed explaining everything. I'm gonna try my best not to. Um, so, do you see the additional effects there on the right? Melee attack up. Insectoid criticals up. Ugh. Cat hair in my mouth. Nullify physical reflect. Um, so, by upgrading the research thing, I just got more of those from the ones I buy from the store, pretty much. Look, look at all these mechanics. I'm trying to explain. Oh, you you can mash A for the archaeological thing. I'm sorry, I misunderstood you. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, that's more or less what you have to do if you can pick it up. You just, you tap A a bunch of times until the bar fills up. There's really, there's no other point to it. You just tap the A button, and, um, but you still have to have the right level of thing. And you have to talk to this lady when you yes. level it, but I cannot do that yet. Is it like, what is it? Uno, Un oh, unobtainium. Yeah, it's 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 the fictional metal of the planet. I mean, this is an alien planet um, because Earth got bloated up and we had to flee it. That's more or less the plot setting where, like, alien two alien. I think it was like two alien races started having a war around Earth, and I guess. I don't even remember the specific details, but, like, they were fleeing the planet, and then the aliens were just like, fuck Earth, and they just blew it up. And they were in deep space traveling to find a new planet to live on, or whatever, and then the aliens came and found them, and shot them, and this giant thing that we're in right now um, was part of the ship that we were in, and they turned it into a city, <laughs> like, can I even explain the whole story in, like, a short amount of time? I'll try to. Um, so what's happening right now, the overall plot of the game is that these characters that you see running around, they're robots. Um, their real human bodies are in something called the Life Hold, which is kind of like the, kind of like, preservation stasis thing. For humans, because they didn't know how long they were going to be in space, obviously. So they had to have a way of operating consciously while keeping their physical forms intact. So they made these things called Mimeozones, and that's what these little robot things are running around. Um, and they have to go find the life hold to get their human bodies back, but there is an evil race of aliens that are trying to wipe out the humans for some reason. And... We have to beat them to the life hold, more or less. So that's what I was going to do, but then the bosses killed me. So, <laughs> no more of that. So now we just run around. You liked that place? What place? Sorry, I, like, I got so distracted by trying to explain this game's story that I completely lost track of what you were talking about. You liked that place. Which place? I mean, there's a couple places I can show you. Whee! Back to the city. Oh, Earth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was pretty nice till it blew up. Um, you know, I wonder. Let's see if there's any scouts I can recruit. Because I think having an extra person would be nice. I could recruit one of the actual player characters. Well, not player characters. Um, NPCs. Or I could do someone else's player character. Which is kind of a neat mechanic. I actually have scout rewards on my tablet here that I haven't picked up yet. Where did I pick those up? Is it here? Oh no, this is where I get the vision rewards. You there! Good day! Uh, division activity. Here it is. Uh, I'm sure why not. Do I not have like personal meetings turned on? Why are these all generic? Social settings. Oh, by the way, uh, this game uses Miiverse functionality for posting messages and things. Guess what you can't do anymore? <laughs> yeah, because they shut down the Miiverse. Every time I turn on this game, it gives me a message. It's like, oh, Miiverse ain't here anymore. So sorry. Um, I mean, I, I think it's this Blade Report thing. I can't use it, so I'm mean, gonna just turn it off. Um, greeting sharing. 
disable the setting if you don't want to see user generated messages. Huh. I don't know. Achievement notifications. Hmm. Maybe once I actually talk to the characters. So these are other players' characters. Joe, level 24. That's a little low of what I'm looking for. Ultra. Ultra Gohan? Troy. Just straight up Troy, level 23. Why are these guys so low level? I don't get it. Level 13? Come on. Ah, there we are, level 30. There we go. Come on with me. Let's go mix things up. You there. Good day. You know, I, f I wonder if people just never change their uh, things, their public greetings. So he's a Wind Viper, and what division is he? Uh, I do not know. I'll take him with me anyways, why that? A Wind Viper? What, it, what exactly that class can do? Oh yeah, but you can change your class anytime you want, too. Um, this is the only one I've really put any effort into, but there's a bunch. Uh, let's see. So wait, I wonder... If there's a benefit at all to using the one before Galactic Knight. I don't know. There, there's a lot of mechanics to this game that are still escaping me. Because this guy's character is one of the intermediate classes. So I don't know what's up with that. You want to see my other robot? Alright. This was the first robot they gave me. And I've already lost it once. It used to have three skill insurance, now it has two. Um, he's level 20. The levels are restricted to the actual robot itself, so this one's like a level 30, and I bought this one. <clears throat> and this one's a lightweight one, and he's level 20. Can you take a little longer to load for me? That'd be great. Thanks. Uh, but this one's a little more nimble. I'm just trying to think of what the other advantages are, but I can't think of it right now. I mean, look at the gravity damage resistance difference between the two of these. I mean, good lord. Oh, this actually has a much higher evasion. Huh. Sorry, I was like going back and forth between the stats here. The heavy one has a much higher fuel capacity. And... I mean, clearly the arm is going to be better on the heavy one anyways. So then I wonder what the perk of having the higher evasion would be. Yeah, there's clearly going to be some stuff I'm going to have to research on my own time. Because this is a big game. This game does not hold your hand at all either. You're more or less left to your own devices for most of it. It kind of has that Breath of the Wild thing going for it, where once you more or less do the tutorial, um, you can just go wherever the hell you want. I can run anywhere on the world map um, with just some very slight restrictions, but I'm free to explore everything. Um, so why don't we do something that will actually like bump my level up, maybe? That might be a good idea. I need to check these scout rewards. That's right, it's this terminal. Claim scout rewards. So, scout rewards are when somebody else uses my character, and this guy used mine. Oh, look, he has a Discord tag if you want to go pester him. <laughs> uh, okay, that's it. No. Oh. And I got a scorpion. Meat. Thanks. I have 22 of those. Poop-a-de-doop. Hey! Why? 
And you can get basic quests from this board. Uh, and there are quite a few that I haven't done. Bune the Ambusher. Anything with Sylvium as the location I haven't done just because I haven't been to that area. Same with Caldros. I could go exploring over there and check it out. Uh, Nathalum. Is there a bounty? If you're not a GG. It's requested that you acquire some weapons. Oh, I don't want to test weapons. I hate those missions. A sewage fillet? Nah. There's one in Oblivia. Hunt some play. Tech. Tech. Like, I, I can't read this font from here. It's so small on my TV. <clears throat> but it's short. We'll go do that. You and the ambusher. That's so many. Okay. Let's check the missions. So resistance is a percentage decreased increased damage. I think so. Uh, yeah, I think so, gamer. I really don't know. All I know is when I don't have a lot of it, it hurts. <laughs> it really hurts. Uh, yeah, let's set that as the target. So what's nice is I can set mission targets, and I have this goofy little thing called a follow ball. See, off it goes. And it helps me find objectives. But what I can also do is look at my map here and see exactly where it is and just teleport straight to it. <laughs> uh. Let's go see how tough these things are. Can't be that bad. It was only a four-star quest. And now I'm going to eat those words in about five seconds. I love how they pop in like that. It scares the crap out of me every time. Hey. Oh, really? Come now. So you can break the body parts off of these monsters too. Every time you see like a big purple splat like that, uh, that more yeah, that pretty much means I I broke whatever was on it. Also, I don't want to anger that. Okay, what are these things here? So not having good gravity resistance really brings you down. God damn it, gamer. <laughs> Ah. Uh, okay, so giant robot would probably help here, but let's take a shot at this guy. See, that was a limb breaking right there. So we just locked onto one of his body parts. No. Starlight Sphincter, what? <laughs> I do have the volume turned down on my TV, so... I actually don't know if you guys can hear it in the background, but... I turned it down a fair bit. I do have seven of these things? Oh, good grief. At least it went down fast. Uh, well, there was one. Where's the others? I'm supposed to kill seven. I'm gonna need more than that. I mean, these these characters can jump really high. They put basketball players to shame. Look at that. And also, there's no fall damage either, which I really do appreciate. 
Because you will fall off of places quite frequently when you're just hopping around. Yeah. Uh, not be lazy and go around. Though, is there any point to climb up here? Yeah, there is. Is that a prone? Oh, it's a prone! Ooh! These are bad guys. They get their own battle theme. Yeah. It's like, oh, he's doing ether damage. And he won't die. Before you even get to hear the theme. Oh well. I already got that item. What, who's this person up here? What are you doing here? Virtual tourism specialist? What did I do? For the achievement. Oh, it's this guy again! <laughs> they are you though? Wait, is this the same guy? No. I mean, it's saying the same thing, but I don't know if it was the same person. I forgot I had these sunglasses on. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, well. That's fine. They look snazzy. Snazzy. I like just the regular glasses. Uh, okay, there's a gauze eye patch. I guess if you're into that. <laughs> Ooh, there's a scouter. A DBZ scouter. Heart glasses. And then there's this weird thing. Like a bunny nose thing. Let's put these on. Like the regular glasses. I don't know if this was the same guy. Oh well. He can just chill up there. Okay, where's the rest of these, uh play things. Like this big yellow space is their spawn area, so where the hell are they? What the hell? I'm trying to get a mission done here. Let me spend enemies. Come on. I guess I can go kill these. Wait, is that a 20? Oh, there's a level 30. Uh, Oops. Oh, yeah. So my healing ability, or anything that you see on my skill bar that has TP, um, I have to spend a thousand tension points in order to use those. So that green bar next to my health, the blue bar on the left side of the screen, those are my tension points. Actually, you can see them right above where my cursor is right now on the skill bar. You can see HP and TP right there. Um, if I get to 3,000 TP, I can be overdrive mode, like I did in my skill. Ooh, there went his tail! <laughs> We're like Monster Hunter now. Who's next? Who's next? That was our guest character. Ready? Let's move in. Put this guy's tail off too. Yeah, okay, lock onto that. And the way to get TP, the best of my understanding, is you have to just use auto attacks. But there's other skills that let you get it, like this one skill, Starfall Blossom. If I attack from the front with it, it builds TP a lot faster. And then I think if you do these prompts when they come up, you get some? I don't, I really don't know. But some of these things are not very well explained. Which is kind of a shame, considering how well done the tutorials were in the first Xenoblade game. Like, every time there would be something relevant that you needed to learn, a little tutorial screen would pop up and explain it to you very well. And, um, you could reference those anytime you wanted, but I don't know if this game lets you... You can look at the manual, like the Wii U manual screen or whatever, but actual in-game help. Oh. No, I don't... I think this is what I'm looking for. Actually, no, I don't even know what this shit is. Oh, this is, um... Sometimes when you run by certain civilians, they'll give you, like, tips on things that are out in the world, but that's not the same thing I'm looking for. 
Huh, yeah, I don't know. Oh, wait a minute. Is that one of the ones I need? No, you were soil. Tech, tech tinsula. Tech tinsula. Hmm. Follow ball. Show me the way to enemies. Oop, splash. Well, there's one. Although, I feel like he's the old one that just came back. But follow ball's totally all about him, so I'm going for it. Oops, I got too close. He heard me. I think I could spend the whole stream talking about the damn mechanics of this game. Really, how much good is it going to do you guys to the- Oh my god, that's gravity damage. Whoop. Yeah, that's gonna hurt. This just killed the things. I am level 32 now, also overdrive mode's ready. Good. Yeah, let's, see, let's see if Fall of Ball can find it. <laughs> He's just like, here, stupid. Right here. Alright, then. That's very helpful. <laughs> oh, Tatsu's with us. Has he been with us this whole time? I just haven't noticed. Oh, Tatsu. Tater, tater boy. Oh yeah, the environment's damaging me right now. I will say this is a very good looking game, like, just the environments are very pleasing. There's a lot of cool stuff. The weather looks cool. I like it. Looks good. The first Xenoblade game actually was very visually impressive too for what it was. Um, on the Wii. I really itch it. <laughs> I highly recommend it. If you can get a copy of it, I recommend it. I think I got mine from <laughs> I got mine from Singapore or something. It's definitely not like your typical US version of the game. I think it's a, a European version. But it plays on my Wii, so I mean, whatever. It works. You can always Re fast travel for farm. Oh, perfect. Also, welcome to the stream. That is a good idea. Let me just try slapping this thing. I don't want it to hear me, though. You think you're so big. <laughs> you think you're too big. Me, me. You could tell why this character's voice got annoying. Okay. Yeah, we're struggling to hurt this guy. Captain Badass. Huh, huh, I get it. Captain Badass. That's clever. Very clever. He hurts. He hurts a lot. I mean, I'll try overdrive mode, but I mean, I still don't quite get the nuances of it. There's like, you have a limited amount of time to use it. Um, I'll show you what I mean. There's ways to restore the counter, but I don't quite know how it works. So you get to use certain types of skills one after the other. I don't know. And then you can build TP while you're in overdrive mode and it does things. I mean, that's a pretty healthy chunk of damage I just did to him, so... Bug just keeps farting. Not doing good. This game is too deep in mechanics for this level of info in it. Yes. Yeah. No. You're totally right about that. It is. A, it is a very deep game. But you know what? It is pretty rewarding once you do learn a lot of things. There's a lot of game here. I am so dead. This thing is going to kill me. I'm going to sacrifice the TP for a shitty heal. Don't step on me! 
<laughs> what did I just say? Ah, ah, those stupid quick time events always ambush me when I'm not ready. Oh, you wait. <laughs> oh, well, two party members are dead. Ah, there, I caught that one, but barely. I, you know what? I'm not actually killing it. Come on. Oh, it's so close. And I missed that QT too. Ah, stop it! Stop it! I'm not ready for it. Oh, God. Please. Elma, you gotta do it. Come on, Elma. Kick its ass. You got 30 seconds to do it. Come on. You, you got this. You got this. Oh, boy. I get the feeling she's not got this. Come on, Elma. Come on. You had one job. You had one job, Elma. Uh Okay, let's bring let's bring Mr. Robot this time. Oh, our uh, our fourth party member is going to leave. Here, let's try it with this. Poop. Yeah, I got your fire right here. Okay, this is doing a bit more damage. Oh, there he is. Oh, come on. I was trying to be ready for it, and it didn't move fast enough. It's like it juked me. Also, I think that lyric that just came out of that dude's mouth was, This world sucks. This soundtrack, man. It is, it is something else. It's unique. I'm gonna have to lean to see what you guys are saying here. So mean. God damn it! <laughs> oh, okay, fine, again. No potions, tonics, or heal juice. Nope. There are no consumables. Well, I think there are, but like they're extremely limited, and they're not really meant to be used normally. Oh, cockpit mode! Yay! I can't see shit. Cinematic. Um, it's mostly chains of shouts. Uh, oh yeah, the uh, voices. Yeah. The spirit voices, or whatever they call them. So, I'll explain those in just a moment. I've been meaning to. So, do you see how Cross there just said something about melee attacks? Whenever somebody does that, so Ella just did that right now, if I have a melee type attack that's available, it'll, it'll kind of pulse with like a little light around it, and when I use it, um, It'll restore some health. And then it will usually activate another shout out. So, like, I just took care of Elmo's right there. And the character did not activate another one. Bad example. The Glug to Roof! I missed the thing. Oh well. Uh, so you can customize those things. Those voices. Soul voices! That's what they're called. Um, if you build them right, it's like non-stop of support, heal, boost effects. Oh, okay. Also, shouts can be set up if you would 
or advanced player for even more profits. Now, you can't change your party members, though. I don't think you can. No, they're just... They're always like that. Hmm. But I can change my own. So, let's see. There's certain conditions for activating them. So, for this... It, let me find an easy one to explain. Okay, so you land a crit on an enemy. Um, my character will... I think that's usually when the B button quick time event pops up. And if I hit it at the right time, she'll shout out uh, the soul voice here. So, let's see. So it can have three effects. Um, I'll shout... Yeah, you know what? This is something that confuses me a little bit. They don't really word it well when they explain it to me. So, this effect that happens afterwards, it's either... It's either an effect that's given to the person who triggers the soul voice so like I shout and then someone triggers it with their skill now this 50% damage I don't know if that goes to me or if that goes to the person who activated it or triggered it rather that's something that's really confused me for a while and I haven't bothered to look it up just because I just don't care enough <laughs> but maybe maybe our friend in the chat here can explain it uh, let's see Cripple that freak. <laughs> Plus one tier to debuff arts. Bypass debuff resistances. Because you would think you would want to... Choose the things that give you the best bonus, right? But then I don't know if it gives the bonus to you or to the other person. It's a little confusing. What's this? Uh, plus 100 to soul heals. Joke's over, heal me so I can pay them back in spades. Hmm. Gain invincibility. Buff me up and I'll prove it. Plus 500 TP to target. Oh, okay. That's a good way to get um, TP pretty quickly. Let's see what our friend in the chat said. Uh, you think that it's the effect goes to me. You used heal chain effects when after healing your character asked for even more buffs and that did and you got more buffs. Oh, okay, so it's like a like a chain reaction of buffs. It's interesting. Plus one tier to buff arts. <laughs> buff me up. Plus two fifty TP to target. Boss below 60%. Uh, hmm. Well, here's the thing. Let's look at what Lin's are, because she has a lot of these healing ones, but hers are all TP based. Skill crush. Oh, that's if her skill gets broken. Uh, plus TP to target. Hmm. Maybe two target means that it goes to the person that triggers it. Maybe. Um. I guess I could use to find out would be this. Changing this to this and paying really close attention to my TP. So let's test it. Um, let's see. Skills didn't say to target, it's for a party. Oh, okay. 
Well, we can test this right now. Um, so if I use an aura, although I think mine are TP based, so that's not really going to help. Here, what's this? Character attacks when our all HP is below 30%. Toppler, higher ground. Oh, this is a custom one. I can I can change the condition for this. Oh, nice. Um. Character evades three consecutive enemy attacks. Character lands three consecutive critical hits. Ooh, actually. That might be good for me. Let's see. Character witnesses a change in weather during combat? Whoa, that's random. Weather is awful. Thanks, weather. Great timing. Character sprints for three or more seconds. Check out the speed. Are you all buffed up? <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, some of these voice lines are funny. There's even party member gender-based ones? You're kidding me. Oh, medicine man, medicine woman. Oh, you're, you weren't kidding. Character gets healed buffed by a male ally. Character gets healed buffed by a female ally. Oh, that's weird. You read my mind. Let's get swinging. I can handle myself. Just keep shooting. Uh, thanks, but maybe you should prep an aura. <laughs> thanks, tend to get buffed. I owe you. Don't forget to buff up. She, my character is much nicer to the ladies than the guys. Uh, Sandman? Uses a skill to bind an enemy. Well, I do this all the time. Um, nabbed one strike now. Plus one second to bind duration per hit. I mean, that would make sense that it goes to me. So... Hmm. Sorry, this isn't very action-packed right now, but it is something that I have been meaning to figure out. Uh, let's do the critical combo thing. Now... Let's see. <laughs> Aw, yes! I like that. Aw, yes! Critical chance gain, critical power two. You can play as other characters? You can play as other characters? What? No. Since when? Smell you later. Smell you later? Alright then, Gary Oak. Play as other characters? Really? I didn't know that. I can't move these characters anyways. Oh my god, are you kidding me? That's all I had to do? Am I retarded? Oh my god! I didn't know this! Wow, I never even tried that. Like, the thought occurred to me that I could probably take control of these characters, but... Oh, what the hell? <laughs> 40 hours in! I never noticed this. Wow. <laughs> and, okay, that's even... That's ignoring the fact that I've really been neglecting these guys' uh, art levels. As you can see, 352 unspent battle points. Oops. Um, yeah. I'd be curious to see how my main character fights on AI in that skill. So then, can I change the soul voices? No, I can't. Those are set. All right, well, let's let's try playing as Elma for a little bit. Here, uh... <laughs> Come along, main character. Uh, I'm just leading her by the rope. Dope, dope, dope. Oh, bless you, kitty. 
All right. Uh, where are my guns? There we are. Okay, what skills can I even use? You okay there, kitty? You got a hairball? Oh. Bless you. I gotta take this boy to the vet. He's due. Uh, let's see. Grants critical power. Grants critical power plus boosts TP. Alright, just, just shoot the damn thing. Lay down some fire for me. Okay, come on. Oh, it's a lot farther away than I thought. It's just, it's huge. Alright. Go, skill. Okay. Uh. Elma. Shade. Shadow Strike. Okay, that was pretty cool. Tricks. Strike. Or Stagger. I can't, I'm having a really hard time reading this font from here. Oh, I just did something. Ah, oh, that was a TP move. Sliding. Slinging. Oh, that's that move I see her using all the time. Side slash. Okay. Oh, okay, so if you do this from behind. I can't see anything. <laughs> She's binding it. And it broke free. Wow, good job, AI. Is that from behind? Oh, you know what? There's a little indicator. I don't know if you guys can see it, but um, right above these skills right here, do you see that thing that says back low? Um, that actually will tell you if you are facing the side or the back or whatever. That's pretty useful. Wow, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be killing even more time on this game just fucking around with each character now. Great. Look at what you've done. <laughs> I mean, I haven't been streamed for like two whole months, so I've been mostly doing stuff like this. You know what? Let's uh. I'm putting an end to this. Yeah. Oh, well, I missed that. Okay, so. It's a way to increase the time on the clock, depending on what skills you use. Whoa, that was a good hit. Yeah, I don't know. It's like if you switch from one type of color skill to another, it like it can increase the timer on the overdrive clock. Which, by the way, the manual will not tell you whatsoever. You just have to look it up online. Just some dumb. I mean, having the skill kill stuff is pretty convenient. Although, wait a minute. Oh, it attracted a friend. I have to go help. I'm kind of hoping I can switch back because I'm already I'm already tired of using Elma, Elmo. Don't tread on me. This is horrid, dude. This is critical power. Oh no, never mind. It's dead. Oh god. Oh Jesus. A fucking robot running right at me. I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> I'm not used to that. Alright, hold on. Let me... Alright, let's try Lin. Okay, so Lin. I have a gripe with this character. Now... Okay. She is a 13-year-old girl who is a master genius engineer. Um, squad mission invitation. Whoa. What is this? Huh? I've never seen one of these. What is this? You have to go to Silval... Silvalum. Oh yeah, I need to read chat. Whoops. He figured about... He figured out... Changing characters only after 150 plus hours. Ouch. Oh, 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 oh man. I am so sorry. 
Uh, green is time. Purple TP hits count. Okay, I think I understand what you're saying. I am heated up. So wait, am I in another person's game right now? What? My focus is improving. It's time. Hey, hey. Oh my God! This is an actual like multiplayer thing. No shit. Hey, I can say hello. Over here. Oh, do I have to do the door? What do I do? Mark your. Oh, okay. Oh, it's like Monster Hunter. Okay. Oh my God! There's actual multiplayer in this game. I did not know that. How come I've never seen this before? Like, how do you get these missions? This is really cool. I've never seen this. Oh, I'm excited. Hopefully it's not like really poopy. Connection wise. Hey, what are we doing? I don't know what we're doing. Gravity blast! Are we fighting stuff? Uh, defeat something? I don't know, I'm just gonna follow these guys. I, I'm not even having to... Wait, that was it? That was the whole thing? <laughs> that was so short! Terminate... Terminal at room? Oh, terminal! The terminal at the room. Hang on, let me try it. I feel like I've... I've poked around with that thing, but I've never... gotten it to actually do anything. Oh, cool! Wait, all of these are for me? No. You're kidding. Sure? That's a lot of items, I feel like. Oh, well, okay. Oh, I'm Lynn again. Anyways, Lynn is a 13-year-old master engineer character, and she's 13. So, I, I just, I don't know. I'm, I'm able to suspend disbelief for a little bit, but okay, Japan, you're pushing it. <laughs> you're really pushing it. Like, I just turned 29 last Wednesday, so it's like... It's just, I don't know. I find it so much harder to suspend my disbelief with stuff like that now, compared to, like, maybe, I don't know, 10 years ago or longer. Um, There's better missions, I think, but Miss the Co-op mostly was out of internet while playing. Uh, so then let's let's figure out how to do this. Active missions? No missions available to join. Okay, squad missions. Oh, here we go. Defeat all enemies. Leadership strike. Can I accept this mission? It has already been completed by your current squad. Whoa. What you want about? Even my current squad. You mean these these chuckle fucks? My NPCs? No. That can't be right. What are these missions? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've never done these before. Like I just did this one. This is the one I recruited people into. So then here's a question. It looks like you can't do them more than once, so then... What, you just do it once and then that's it? I mean... 
Sure. Okay, there we are. Whoa, camera. Right there. Huh. I wonder if people will find their way in here. Oh yes, I've I have colored my uh my base to the lovely Firestock colors, you may have noticed. The red and the... Er, red. red? Really? Am I... Ugh. The blue and the yellow. There we go. <laughs> the red. This pen is... <laughs> so, I guess we just wait. I guess we just wait. I'm gonna poke my little say? emotes on my touchscreen here. What do you say? What do you think? Thanks. Thanks. Thanks what? How is that a thank you? Thanks. That's acknowledge. Wow. Wow. Nice work. Nice work. You know, it's funny. My character is a silent protagonist, but then. Like everywhere else, she will not shut the fuck up. It just it makes over here. it makes no sense. Over here. We did it. <laughs> what was that? We did it. <laughs> what is this garbage? We did it. We did. Oh, how that pose. We did it. We did. Yeah. We did it. Okay. Wow. <laughs> This is what I do whenever I find a menu full of emotes, and I'm sure a majority of you do the same thing. Oh my god, that guy just... WHY IS HE SO BIG?! the game oh my god that is amazing he's huge <laughs> he's honking my focus is improving over here. it's time <laughs> over here <laughs> I love over this here. guy <laughs> this over is here. so over ridiculous here. God, I was not <laughs> expecting this to happen at all. This is not what I signed up for. Wow. Okay, can we like, can we can we take weed for a walk? Oh, I think they're all ready. So it sinks to level forty, doesn't it? <laughs> He's really into this. Maybe it's a naked skull. That'd be kind of funny. Oh my god. I can't wait to see this guy running around. This is gonna be amazing. <laughs> totally legit player using totally legit methods. Oh, I agree. No, that's, uh, he ate his Wheaties. His, his Wheaties. Okay, so... <laughs> I feel like I need to get in my skull just to like meet him at eye level. Hey, wait, where is he going? Come here. <laughs> He's so fucking huge. Oh, there's a level 40 right here. We find this. Oh, 
Okay. Oh, did he just like one shot it? One <laughs> kill. Oh look, that skill's flying. It, wait a minute. Is did he shoot that from across the map? Wow. Wow. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, dude. Oh my lord. Ah. Uh. What's hilarious is that this was meant to just kind of be like a hangout stream. Like, I wasn't intending to put this on YouTube. But now I might be obligated to do so. Like, it, I might have to save this. Oh my lord. What the fuck? Yeah, please take all items. Bloody! What are you doing? Yes, please, save. Save that beautiful thing that just happened. Okay, well... <laughs> is there, like... Is there, like, a way to, like, make friends with the people you last played with? Here, I just gotta look for weed. Is he in my thing? Yes, he is. There he is. Um... Here. You <laughs> oh man, someone might need to go into that Discord and just let him know he was on Twitch. Oh my god. Look at him, he's so peeny. He's adorable, he's he's pocket sized. You see <laughs> Are you kidding me? Wow. This oh man, this guy's my friend now. I just I don't even care if he's cheating. That's just that's way too funny. There we go. Good shit. Good shit. <laughs> oh man. Oh, I have not laughed that hard in a while. Oh, I, I, that caught me off guard so hard both times. Wow. Okay, well, anyways. <laughs> moving on. Oh, what do I even do after that? What? How do I top that? That's just like, I can't... I can't do anything that would be more entertaining than that. <clears throat> Coming back to Twitch was a good idea. I'm glad I did this. <laughs> I'm very glad I did this. Had I... Okay, had I seen that offline and not had you guys around to see it, I... I would have regretted that so much. <laughs> there would have been so much regretty in my spaghetti. <laughs> because nobody would have believed me! I would have told people like, oh I saw like a like a ten foot tall version of an avatar and then I, and then he shrunk to like Ant-Man size. Nobody would have believed me. Would you have believed me? I wouldn't have believed me. Asper Glaive! Oh my god. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Oh, you can't ask for better shit like that when you're streaming. Beautiful. Beautiful. The <laughs> gamer says, I don't believe me. Oh. There is Ryan's character. So these are people that are actually on my Wii U's friend list. This was my old manager. <laughs> my last job. <laughs> uh. You know, it's funny. He was the one who talked me into getting this game back when it first came out. And then he, like, gave up on it almost immediately. Um, Kelly's character forget what level she is. 28? That's not terrible. I could take her with me. 
You need to put something more weather appropriate on, though, Kelly. You're gonna catch cold. My goodness. Yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna take an NPC with me, actually. Problem is, I don't remember where everyone is. I think L is over here. You guys would like L. L is hilarious. He's he doesn't quite have a good grasp on the English language. So he says like idioms, but he says them incorrectly. All the time. Oh! I can finish this quest finally. Also, here's L. Oh <gasps> Should I have ample space to accommodate it. You must expand Frontier now farther into oblivion, my friend. You simply must. Oh, well, you can come it with seems me. We are needed. Ah, such would be our greatest of pleasures. We've never been one for sitting and waiting. Come. Come with me. Oh, you're level 18. Oof. We got some work to do with you. Actually, he needs new gear, too. He's looking... He's looking mighty sad. Um... Let's see. Let's fix you up, L. There you go. Hey, you looking better. <laughs> Get that heavy armor on. Yeah. Uh, I would like to see your face, though. Let's change your fashion gear. Um... Looking like a total bamf. Here, let's give him the uh, let's give him the heart glasses. Yeah, looking good. Looking good. <clears throat> mm. Hold on, let me read what you're saying to me here. Base suit has a drop rate boost, but it's kind of small. Is this the new Xenoblade? No, it is not. This is the one for the Wii U, which I never finished. I did unlock New Game Plus on my uh, copy of the first Xenoblade Chronicles, so maybe I ought to stream that for you guys, because it kept my levels and everything, so I could breeze through the story really fast. It <laughs> just, like, one-shot all the bosses. I got a call from the Pathfinder. Sounds like you saw my husband's work through. That's good. Now he can rest without regrets, and the shop's yours to use as promised. Many thanks, my good woman. We swear that you will not regret your decision. Rest assured, this business ship has scum in. <laughs> Wait, what? Scum in? Er, no. I think you mean its ship has come in. It's a metaphor, right? It means... Oh, forget it. A goof like you makes it very hard to stay depressed, you know? I may not get my wedding, but you've given me the motivation to give the man I loved a proper funeral. That gives me some closure at least. Boogie! Shut up! God, I'm yelling from the other room. Thank you, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Good luck with the shop. Oh, hey, Corey. Yeah, I haven't been streaming for a while. I just came back. And those are the Manons. The Manons, or however you pronounce it. Would you, would you be quiet? Oh, you're driving me crazy! If you're looking for Bimmy, he's over here, sleeping. Sit the hell down, cat. How does it look, Geogeon? Is our little device nearly complete? Leave it to the mad artist L. Your design was delightfully mad, though. Very, very exciting work. I haven't had this much fun twiddling cogs since I was a kid, maybe. Anyway, all we need now are five pieces of slimy epith epithelium, five pieces of strong iron, and three zetus twigs, or er, perhaps? Find those, and I'm, I'm pretty sure we're good. Oh yeah, these guys talk weird, too. If you can't wait to see the resulting breakthrough, maybe you could hurry, you know? Er, that was directed at you, friends of L. Not to sound pushy or anything, okay? It's just that... Okay. You're gonna drive me insane. Stop yelling. Uh, 
Gosh. So with the, it's just that with those materials, you can finally make El Super Machine a reality, you see. Get away from the power cables, my goodness! Ah, oh, you're driving me nuts tonight. I'm gonna yank out my my power on the Wii. They okay with that modest hesitation? Ask what exactly they're building. What we're making is kind of a surprise, you know? So if you if, so if if you could just hurry and bring the stuff, we'd really appreciate it. Question mark. Thanks very much. This will be much easier if we all work together, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Right then. So, can I use this store? Oh, right. Uh, I should probably mention their voices. <laughs> they have some Alvin and the Chickmunk shit going on, and I don't really understand why, but they do. Okay. Is that a jukebox? That's a jukebox. Hmm. Okay, well, I mean, that's done. Um... Let me see, what did I miss in chat? <laughs> pizza nuns. Yeah, they like pizza. They really like pizza. Pizza. But I've actually, uh, I've never played this game to completion before. This is the farthest I've ever gotten in the game. One second. I need to go inspect something in the other room. It's just that when Boogie uses his litter box, it's like he summons the harbingers of the plague. Like, it just, he stinks up the whole house. Let me see here. Let me go down to the RV. Uh, I'm actually going to take a short break here in like five minutes, just because I need to get up and stretch. Um, I'll stream for a little while longer. I've been enjoying this. I don't want to stay up too late, though, because I do got work in the morning. Uh, but I will be back soon.
back into my reclined seat here. Difficult. There we go. So, what to do now? I need to level up L a little bit. Uh, I'm trying to think of the best. Oh yeah, we we're still killing those big things in Oblivia. Should go back. Oh, wait a minute, I have scout rewards. Someone Pass must have scouted me. Let me see who it was. Yes. Ask for life. Oh, nice. It's that dude I uh, recruited earlier. Cool. Alright. Oblivia. could die to the giant dinosaur again. Yeah, I guess I could, if I really wanted to. Boogie. You're running around, you're gonna trip a cable. Come here. Come over here. Come here. Boogie. Boogie. Come here. Yeah, come on. Hi. You wanna come up here? Hey, let me move my phone. You can sit up here. Come on. Alright, whatever. He'll do it if he wants. Uh, robot. Yes. Uh, it's this way. Yeehaw. Alright, now where's the enemy? This thing turns horribly. I'm like jamming this thing as far left as it goes. Oh, whoops. There he is. Uh, skills, please. Bang, bang. my ring. Keep my ethereal onion ring. He's going down pretty quick. Nice. And look, L didn't die. That's nice. wonder if he got some good experience from that. Yeah, <laughs> formula drifting. It is kind of lame that it only spawns one of these at a time. It's kind of tedious. I guess we'll just go kill these other things in the meantime. Attack at range. Follow my lead. Ooh. This one's sharp. Ooh, that damage. Scales are wonderful. Uh, so scales work a little differently than normal human characters, obviously. So <clears throat> you can see that I have a fuel meter, that green one. And every time I use a skill, and I think every time I'm in combat, the fuel will gradually go down. Um, but it does replenish itself if I get out of it, I think. Yeah, it does. Very slowly. But really, I've never found myself running out of fuel anywhere near, like, like 70% or lower, so... I don't know. Maybe later in the game, you run out of fuel more? Oh god, these things make the worst noises. Ugh. Oh god, I hate that sound. Oh yeah, every skill requires a little bit of fuel. Okay, did it, oh yeah, someone was mentioning to just fast travel over and over again. Let me do that. Uh, here. That's right, yeah, you told me before, I just forgot.
you can use back to skill for respawn too. Oh, nice. So then here's what I'll do. I will go find the enemy again. I will weaken them as soon as I'm done running at it. This could make all the difference. This one's sharp as carnival. Go me. Go me. Yeah, <laughs> I like the I like the sound my character makes when she pulls out these weapons. Normally, she'll go bleh. <laughs> No! Oh, oh wow. Okay, let's get out. And let's do Return to Skell. <laughs> Which will just put me right inside of it right here. Oh, look at that! That's convenient. Whoa, camera. Oh god, El just took a beating. It'll be alright. I know. I know. I know. That's the that's the one line I don't particularly like coming out of this character all the time. <laughs> Behave yourself. Yeah, dodge these very minusculely damaging bullets that I just shot at you. Oof. Oh my god, almost 30,000 damage. Hmm, yes. Whenever you're in cockpit view, I just want to shout like, I'm playing FTL, divert all power to weapons. <laughs> yeah, it would be kind of nice if you could adjust your camera angle ever so slightly while in the cockpit. It is just hard to tell what's going on most of the time. Well, hello again, Mr. Crab. Follow my lead. Oh, in the cockpit. Yeah, ram it again. Ramming speed. My tactic for fighting in skills is just to spam my abilities because chances are cockpit view will activate and they'll just all refresh anyways. I need a bigger gun! This world sucks! Wow, I just gotta knock the fuck down. There. Yeah, behave yourself, crab. How many more do I have to kill? One more. Perfect. What happens if I hit return to skill when I'm in it? Nah, no, it doesn't do anything. Cannot do it. Cannot do. Brookie, you have just been meowing non stop tonight. I guess he's just not used to me, like, talking? Because I've just been so out of practice with screaming for, like, two months. So he just doesn't quite know what to do with him talking all of a sudden. Whoa, camera. There we go. And... How much experience do I get from that? 20? That doesn't seem like a lot. Huh. Max TP up. That's a augment. Hmm. That can't just be 20 experience points. No. There's no way. Because, like, when I look at missions... See, that's worth 1,200. But that's worth 10. Uh...
Gather five pieces of that slimy stuff. From sludge, calcuses, or others in Noctilum. Now let's do that, why not? Uh, it means I gotta go here. Oh, it doesn't mark it on the map. Hmm. I'll have to figure out where those things are. What are they called? Terminal missions, more about item rewards. Oh, gotcha. That makes sense. I would love to find more research uh, probes. But I haven't had much luck with that. Let's see if any of these give them. That's a mining probe. It gives me a swimsuit, I guess? Tank top. Hot dogs equals happy. What? <laughs> what is that? That's a hollow sphere thing that I can put in my barracks, but hot dogs equals happy? I have no idea. Yeah, none of these give, uh... Oh, well, this is a storage probe, but that's a story mission. Hmm. I don't know. Now, I feel like finding these enemies are gonna be tough. You know, I could I could read this if I switch it to my tablet view real quick. Uh, nope, I can't read that on my screen either. Wow, that sucks. Ludge. Kui kui kusus. Kui kusus. There's a tiny text on this big TV. Um, let's check the enemy index. Or by region? There we go. Uh, slimy or sludge? Sludge. Sludge cakes. Cases. Oh, it's. Ugh. Oh, goodness. What is this thing? I don't even know where these things live. They're level 25 ish. <clears throat> I guess that's it. That's the only one. Level 21 to 30. So... If I'm going based off of my map here... Uh, each little hexagon has a color rating on it that determines... Um, the general level of enemies. Now, I think I'm higher than most of them in this area, so... It's really a crapshoot wherever these things are. I guess I could just poke around and hope I run into one. Let's see. Why don't I go here? Down left from usual map route. Oh, on the coast? Okay. Let me see the map. Coast. Really not a whole lot of coast in this area. It's mostly very elevated land here. Uh, is there like a camp here? Yeah, there is. There's one over this way. I need to move the time back to morning. Because you, you just need to hear how amazingly cheese this music is. It should be this way. Xinhua the saga sag Sagacious? Okay. <laughs> this thing's gonna die fast. Oh, 
Oh god, it's one of these things. Ugh. Oh yeah, this thing's going down. Yeah, I'm not sure what map node you were referring to. Okay, well that was quick. Okay, camp. Now, I wonder if I switch it to nighttime and then switch it to morning, the weather will change. Just down the left side? Oh, okay. I'll check it out here in a second. There we go. And hopefully it is not raining now. Okay, perfect. Let me check the map here. Down the left side. Oh, I think. I think I know where you're referring to. Let's try this place. Near the waterfalls. I think I've seen these guys before. Okay. I don't want to mess with that thing. That thing's a little high for me. And that's a level 74 tyrant. Screw that. Irons everywhere, good grief. Hmm. No, no, no. There is an item here. Ah! Oh, I wasn't expecting that sound to come out of my tablet. <laughs> This music is just not video game music. It's so just it's so ridiculous. But I don't know, after you hear it enough times, it just it does stick to you. Like you just you don't mind hearing it after enough times. I'm looking for them. Oh, is that... No, it's a horse. It's not what I'm looking for. Hmm. I wonder if I need to get out of my suit. To see them better. I think I might be too big. Clunk. That's another horse. Kind of branching away from the left side. So I need to turn around. The room. Yeah. Yeah, drift. Oh, what did I do? I did a thing. Oh, I got the, uh, the ion thrusters that I've needed to get forever ago. Okay, great. These little gems are collectibles that I'm picking up. Can you, can your mech write a mech? Um, I don't know. Oh! Whoa. Oh my god. I almost rode right into those with my mech. Jeez, that would have sucked. Would have torn me apart like that. It would be kind of cool if there was a bigger mech for my mech to get into. My skull deserves a skull. It only seems right. 
Okay. Um, you look kind of similar to what I need. No, it's not the same thing. It is interesting that when you get into the scale, some enemies just don't care about you anymore, I guess, because they're so much bigger. Whoa, easy there. <laughs> yeah, that was really close. Uh, oh, item. It's a broken down trailer. Oh, goody, another mining probe. Just what I didn't want. Give me that research so I can make my monies. It's like I generate a pretty decent supply of ore right now, but I don't have the storage space for it. I have way too many mining probes. It's like, come on. I need something to work with here. Um, these aren't it. I've been sticking on the left side for the most part. Oh, oh wait a minute. Hey! That's what I need. Alright, I'm gonna beat the tar out of it now with my skill. <laughs> How do you like that? Oh. It did not give me a thing. The skill just does so much damage to certain enemies. It's just like, why would you not use it? I like how we get to hear the first, like, two or three seconds of the song. I like how I could reach him. All the way back there. And the skills refresh after combat ends anyway, so it's like... I can use my most powerful ones to kill it quickly, and then just... Get into a fight with the next thing. Ground battle is more technical. Huh. <laughs> there's killing an enemy and there's obliterating an enemy. Well, I really need whatever his juice. Is it slimy something or other? So it's probably better that I just completely obliterate it and to just pick up the scraps. Boom. chance I need to remember to make some clips of um, our encounter with the giant player that shit was just too good I think I yeah I'm definitely gonna have to upload this video that's just <laughs> the one time I think it's gonna be a one-off stream Weed rolls in. You kill this monkey, why not? Gotta hurt you. Gotta hurt you. Can I knock him off? Oh, oh so close.
What's this guy saying? I don't even know what that says. One by one! Hi, Boogie. Don't bite Bimmy. He's sleeping. Just leave him alone. He finally sat down with my other cat, but now he's just being a dick. Here, let me see. I'm just leave him alone. There you go. Good boy. Need more of those things. I might need to return to Skell. Let's see. Where did I first start seeing them? Up here? Work my way down. Ho ho ho! Uh, there might be more over here. Nah, it's just crabs. Just crabs. I should save. I, I feel like it's been a little bit. Let's just, let's just do this to be safe. You might have caught me streaming this for like 30 minutes last week. Just because I lost 3 hours worth of game time. Because I didn't save. And then the game soft locked on the affinity screen. I was so pissed off. I was just like... Ugh. But I managed to catch it back up. But still it was like... Losing that much time just always sucks. Because, like, if you have a full-time job, and you have to do other stuff, and you don't really get as much time to play games, when you lose three hours, you feel it, and it just gets, like, worse. I think there's more down on the coast with the lower levels. Okay, we'll take a look. Maybe I'll get lucky. Yep, there's one. Hopefully I won't have to keep searching for more. Boom. There is one thing I definitely loved about the first Xenoblade Chronicles that this game doesn't really do as well. So with this game having its soul voice callouts, uh, the way it hit handled that in the first game was not necessarily a list of like soul voices, I guess, but like you would do various things in combat and then that little quick time event thing would pop up the ring. And um you would encourage your party members, like if you landed a crit, you could do the ring and then your party members would compliment you. So it was kind of more of like a morale system. And uh, I don't know, it was just, it made the game very wholesome. Just because the, the, the characters were all very friendly with one another. Uh, if you missed an enemy and you did the quick time ring correctly, they would like tell you to not get discouraged. It's just, it, it was very hard to feel upset while playing that game, no matter how difficult things got. Because the characters were just always in such good spirits during combat. And I'll have to show you what I mean. One of these days, I'll load it up for you. P3P, what game is that? I feel like I should know what that is off the top of my head, but I don't. <laughs> okay, let's check down here. Down by the coast. Oh. Okay, let's go all the way down. 
<laughs> My characters just fell very clumsily. Um, yeah. Pardon me. Persona 3 portable. Oh, okay. Oh, so you lost a you lost some save time on that too. I could yeah, with games like Persona, like I've never played them. Like I played the third one for PlayStation 2. I think it was that one. Like I played it for like a day. And I could totally see it being grindy. I remember having to make my character do homework and then going to bed at a reasonable time. <laughs> I was like, the fuck is this? And I played it when I was in college. I was like, I'm already doing this in real life. I was like, I don't want to do this in a game. I, I mean, I thought it was kind of charming at the time, but... It's def Persona is definitely something I would like to revisit and actually make an attempt to play through it, but man, those games, and just RPGs in general, they take a lot of my time, and I was not streaming for two whole months playing just these first two Xenoblade games, and fuck, two whole months went by. And I'm not even done with this one. Okay, I'm not seeing these things, so I'm just gonna teleport back to where I was. This makes it easier. <laughs> oh, here comes the yawns. It's time for Old Man Firestack to go to sleep soon. Wait a minute. Is this the right spot? Wait a minute. It's it further this way. Oh yeah, there's all the. I guess they're alligators. I don't know what those things are. <laughs> oh. Oh, let's just get a little cozier here. This is a very pretty area. All those sparkles. It's very nice. Oh, it's down here. Clunk. Wasn't it? Oops. Let's not anger the thing here. <laughs> Herder. I'm a robot. Did I... Did I not pick this up already? Huh. No, I did. There must have just been another one. Is it safe to stream Persona 5 yet? Did they stop at the takedowns? Wait a minute. They've been taking down Persona 5 streams? Why? Brain's falling apart. It's getting late. Cripple it, Pazow! <laughs> what? Pazow? Give you a Pazow. I mean, I feel like maybe somebody has told me about this Persona 5 thing, but I've just forgotten. Enough time passes. This is your first time hearing about this. You know what? I wouldn't be shocked if I've been told before and I've just forgotten. It's just how I am. What's the company that does Persona? Is that Square Enix? Oh, so basically because there was a big spoiler, they didn't want people to stream it? That's stupid, though. It doesn't make any sense. I mean, I, I guess I could get... I could understand why, but... That seems like a very Japanese-minded move to do. Because Japanese are very weird about their intellectual property. They just don't really seem to be in touch with the modern world on some of their things. Nintendo 
really comes to mind. Although, I feel like Nintendo has gotten better in some respects. I mean, they'll still go nuclear holocaust on fan projects, but... Um, it seems like they're a little more friendly towards streams and things nowadays. So yeah, they basically wanted to force people to get the game and play it instead of watching it. And I just, that's a kind of a flawed concept because I mean, people who are going to want to play it will just get it and play it, even if, like, I don't know. I've never watched someone play something and then have, and then gone, well, guess I don't got to play it. I mean, I guess if it, unless it's like a visual novel or something. Because at that point, you're more or less seeing all of the options. I need the damn item already. <laughs> I'm tired of killing these things. Smashing it with my robot that with a very girthy fuel supply doesn't seem to want to run out ever. There was this giant list of do's and don'ts for, like, for streaming the game. <laughs> okay, well, we got the things we needed, so... Let's go back. What time is it? Oh, man, it's one already? Shit. Man, time goes fast. I think this will probably be the last thing I do, because I gotta go to bed. <laughs> Sleepy. Oh. Okay. Let's give the robot a break. Also, I think I must have gotten more... War. Mm, yes, I did. Whee. I wonder if these are getting exponentially more expensive as I buy levels. Because I don't remember level 4 costing this much with the other companies. Or level 3 costing this much. It must be getting more expensive. I mean, I'm gonna max it all out soon, anyways. Whoa. Yeah, I was gonna say, streaming stuff usually helps people see if they want to buy the thing in the first place. You know, they'll get a taste of it. And really, by that point, it's up to the person watching if they, you know, want to keep watching it or go play it for themselves. Oh, you did it? I'm pretty sure this is everything I need. We should be ready to go, I think. Just <laughs> fucking glasses. Hear that, L? It's finally time to put the final touches on your miracle machine, isn't it? And we trust you to do just that, friend. Once complete, this device will be a revolution in revolutionary inventions. It will be terribly useful to the blades, not to mention a first-rate crowd puller for our humble shop. Oh wow, I guess I'll do my best, okay. Let me go go make the finishing touches now. Go go gadget engineering. So oh that thing right there. <laughs> it's finished, L. Hopefully it's alright, alright. Ah, uh, wonderful. We've just finished lining up our tempting throng of tantalizing trinkets. Our shop is moments away from its grand opening moments, we tell you. What do you think, friend? Will our store be the new talk of the tower? I still don't know what you're selling. Ask Elle for details about their mystery device. <laughs> Doubt. <laughs> Doubt. Ask Elle 
what it is he's selling exactly. Now, well, Lin seemed to like that. Ah, how rude of us. We failed to explain. Oh, yeah, he refers to himself in first person plural. Us, we. I guess if you want to call it that. He's like the king from Katamari Damacy. This mother of all inventions opens additional augment slots in your weapons and armor, both with ground gear and scales. Oh, that's useful. With one simple purchase, blades can now elevate their equipment to new and lofty heights. The Royal Wii, that's what it's called. But they say a picture is worth a thousand A picture is worth a thousand worms! <laughs> So, by way of demonstration, we will give you this attack assault rifle. Try giving it a new augment slot. I'm ready pretty much any time, you know. Let's open up some slots, okay? Come one, come all. That's lots of gear for a sum of meranium. Well, too bad I just spent all my meranium in the R&D department. As many a wise human has said, you don't want to bring a... A fife? To a gunfight? <laughs> Turn good gear great at Els Wonder's new shop. Oh, oh. Cool. Well, let's take a look at it real quick. Let's see. <laughs> it's not like I can really do anything without the Meranium, so... I was just curious as to what it did. Like, does it give it more upgrade slots? Or I think it, it makes actual slots. Which, I don't think any of my gear has any right now, so I can't really show you. But that's where the augments go. Alrighty. Um, I don't really think there's anything else I want to do real quick. I do need to go check the scout rewards again because someone else recruited me. Who could that be? I wonder. Scout blades. Claim scout rewards. Xeno. Alright. What'd I get? A mond a mond cherry? Oh, nice. That was actually a really good chunk of experience I just got. I think. 200 and some? Yeah, I mean, that's pretty good. So now I'm level 33. So I should be probably ready to take down those bosses here soon. I guess I could try that again, but I'm way too damn tired, so I'll just have to do that another time. So I'm not going to stream, like, everything I do on this game. I'm just like every once in a while I'll just fire it up on the stream while I'm playing it. Um, this is not really meant to be like a comprehensive series of the game. It's just like, hey, this is what Firestock is doing in Xenoblade right now. Um, I would like to stream the second game though for the Switch, but I do definitely need to go through a bit of a backlog of things that I kind of left unfinished uh, when I took a break back in January. So, um, let's see, what's today? Thursday? God, today's Thursday. It's, it's Friday. It's already Friday. Good grief. Uh, pfft. I'll have to see what's going on this weekend. It's because it's St. Patty's Day. I'll probably be out for a little bit. <sighs> I might go grab some drinks with the lady friend. And, um... Think of what else. I'll be visiting my parents here soon. So, I'll be around. Uh, if I... You know, I'm probably gonna play this... Either tomorrow or a little bit of Saturday. During the day. Um, so I'll figure it out, but, uh, if you want to throw up the Discord thing real quick, gamer, do you remember the Discord command? It's just exclamation Discord in the chat. 
Uh, if you guys, I know there's a couple of new faces here tonight. If you would like to come hang out with us and talk. Um, I've been away for a bit, but the community still talks to one another. You know, we still kind of do our own thing. It's been a little quiet just because I've been gone, but um, I do plan on kind of revitalizing the community uh, just to kind of keep the flow going again now that I'm not so busy. God, I'm going to try not to fall asleep while I'm talking to you guys. So, I'm going to get going here. I hope you guys liked the little odd bits of Xenoblade Chronicles X. I'll have to make some clips of that that big fucker we saw earlier. That was oh man, that was hilarious. Uh, let me save before I forget. I'm gonna shoot myself. Okay, perfect. Well, with that being said, it's been nice to come back finally and to just kind of have a nice, calm, chill evening. Not really taking this too seriously, just because I don't really want to. God, if I tried to stream this entire game, I would die. So, uh, I do want to get back into Nier Automata. I've missed playing that. And then, of course, we still need to finish Wizard of Oz. So, look forward to that in the future. I don't have any specific times, so just keep an eye out for announcements on Discord. So, alright. Have a good night, everybody. Take care. And as soon as... I'm getting ready to stop the stream, I believe it says, shut up and sleep.